Deep in the forest, far, far from anywhere, lives a bear. Hey, wait a second. You haven't heard of biomagnification, have you? No, not magnification. I mean biomagnification. It's different. That's not biomagnification either. That's just a bigger fish. Here, take a look through this. See, that fish is really high in toxins. And those toxins are coming from the water. I bet you're wondering how the water could be safe enough to drink, but the fish not safe enough to eat. This is because of a combination of bioaccumulation and biomagnification. Yeah, and it affects you too. How could this river, so far from anywhere, be polluted? Let's zoom out to get a better look at what's happening. Okay, Bear, so that's you there. And these pink dots, they're the toxins. And it looks like they're coming from things like farming and agriculture, wastewater, electronics and e-waste, and certain industrial practices. These are just some of the things that we do and use every day that affect the environment. Even small amounts of pollutants can travel very far through the air, groundwater, and rivers. Let's dive deeper and see what's happening here. If we make the toxins in this river glow, you'll think there isn't much to worry about. But let's crank up the settings and get an x-ray view inside these plants and wildlife. Now we can see things aren't quite as clean. But how could that be? Where did all this come from? Let's start by taking a closer look at these algae. They uptake nutrients from the environment and toxins as well. If they absorb toxins faster than they can get rid of them, the levels will gradually build up. That is bioaccumulation. And here comes a little critter now. This little creature feeds on algae all day long. The accumulated toxins pass straight into its body. Only some of them will be expelled before its next meal. The same is true for this insect. And this fish. And so on. All the way up this food web. The concentration of toxins increases with each successive level. This is called biomagnification. Because this fish cannot eliminate the toxins at the rate it consumes them, the levels build up throughout its life. You see? The animals at the top of the food web accumulate way more toxins than you would expect. So, the older this fish, the more toxic the dish. Depending on what fish you eat and their levels of bioaccumulation, eventually you could end up pretty sick. If humans reduce the amount of toxins in the environment, the plants and animals will have a chance to stop bioaccumulating. And given enough time, their bodies will eliminate most toxins, significantly reducing the effects of biomagnification. However, that may take a while. Until then, why don't you just eat things lower on the food chain?
of science. And now less toxins are being released into the environment. The ecosystem has recovered. You may now eat whatever you like. If only it was that simple in real life. <laughs>